Hey, Logan here, the creator of Copilot for Obsidian, a popular open source AI plugin for Obsidian. If you're new here, welcome. I'm building a suite of tools to enhance ourselves with AI. Steve Jobs used to call this kind of tools bicycle of the mind. The Copilot plugin is the first step. It aims to be the most powerful AI assistant for any personal knowledge management system more powerful than similar products by big tech companies while keeping your data local on your own device. The ultimate form of this plugin is to enable an intelligent agent experience for our Obsidian vaults. I'm quite sure you won't find this experience anywhere else right now. With the new Copilot version 2.7.0, we've got a new mode called Copilot Plus. It's currently in alpha but today I'm going to give you a sneak peek of what it looks like and where it's headed. The current chat and QA modes aren't quite what I envisioned as the perfect AI assistant yet. So I'm building a simpler but more powerful mode that encompasses the two. It covers all the use cases of the two modes while retrieves the information better, answers more intelligently, and has extra features like web search PDF and image support, and even converting YouTube videos to Markdown. Eventually, it might even let users add personalized tools. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's start with some baby steps. The clip at the beginning of this video showed the ability to get the current time, set a timer to pop a notice, and trigger indexing of the vault just by chatting with it. It may seem like gimmicks at first, but bear with me. This is just to show the agent's ability to use tools. I'll show you some more examples that you may find useful. Let's get into it. There is a big use case that requires the agent to understand time-related info in a query. For example, give me a recap of my week, or check how my understanding of topic X improved in the last month. You must know the current time to figure out when last week or last month is. However, vanilla language models don't have real-time information. Copilot has its custom-built tools for time understanding, so this is no problem. We're using GPT-40 Mini for this demonstration. It immediately tells us it's 9.43 p.m. October 19th and even tells us the time zone. How many days until 2025? 73 days. One common thing developers do is to check the time for a Unix timestamp. I'm using this particular timestamp to test. It's September the 30th. Claude Sonnet tells us it's November 30th. That's wrong. And Notion AI thinks it's May 30th. That's also wrong. They gave these results out of hallucination. Let's try with Copilot. It correctly tells us it's September 30th. Okay, now the real test. Give me a recap of my last week. Notice that I'm using at vault here, meaning I wanted to go over the whole vault and you see it's reading files. And it gave me the recap from October 7th, a Monday, to October 13th, a Sunday. The recap is quite detailed. It goes over completed task, routine, and highlight for every day. You see, uh, I had a doctor's visit on the 8th. And I worked on video related to Mount Rainier on the 9th and I continued the work on Agentic RAG on the 11th. It formatted this uh, this way because my daily note has this kind of structure. You see it has to do, to read and watch routine, and notes and highlight. We can verify that it didn't hallucinate at all. By the way, this is the test vault I'm using for this demo. My actual vault has over 6,000 notes. Watch the Deadpool and Wolverine movie on Sunday. That's right. No hallucination whatsoever. 
Now let's test whether it can correctly extract this time range. This all highlights from August 10th to September 5th from my vault. I wrote it like this deliberately to test whether it can get the correct time range. This is quite a big range. It's actually one of my pain points. I always wanted to extract things from a large number of files. So this is doing just that. Let's sample some dates to see if it's correct. August 10th, release, that's right. Then there's nothing, no specific highlight noted. 13, create mind map, yeah. 14, Elm Studio. So we can confidently say this is doing a great job. It ended on August 29th because after that, there's no daily notes until um, September 10th. This next one is in the same vein. Find my blood pressure readings from the entire August. This is extracting based on tag. This makes gathering information super easy. Just chat with Copilot and extract things for you. We can sample the dates to see whether the numbers are correct. 118 over 77, yes. There's nothing on the 29th, right? No reading noted. 26th, 137 over 81, yeah. Not sure what I did that day, it's a bit high. But yes, everything is correct. Next, let's try the text I use for Vault QA mode to see how Copilot Plus does it. This mic person is a fake person with a fake bio I created. You can find this new show sources button whenever you trigger the vault search. The ones in the high relevance section are the docs that made into the LLM context. The lower relevance ones didn't make into the context, but could be useful for the user to look at in some scenarios. Since all this is made up, we can easily verify um, it's using my docs rather than hallucination. Let's try another one. Who is Carissa? She describes herself as a 20 something year old Filipino girl from Canada. Okay, this top result has relevant score one. Bullseye, perfect. It's a YouTube video script I transcribed using the YouTube tool. I'm not gonna demo it right now to avoid making this video too long, um, just to let you know what's possible. Next question, what's my favorite Obsidian theme? I mentioned it once in a daily note. Your favorite Obsidian theme is borderless. You mentioned in the daily note August 29th. Yes, that's with a relevant score one. And I indeed included the URL to the preset. Next, what's my favorite Obsidian plugin? This is a trick question. I actually didn't explicitly mention the answer anywhere. Based on your notes, it seems that your favorite plugin is likely Copilot for Obsidian. <laughs> It, you have multiple entries discussing its features, updates, and enhancement, indicating a strong interest in this plugin. This is a pretty well-educated guess. I give it a pass. Checking the sources, Copilot for Obsidian has the highest relevance score, which is 0.6. I also mentioned it many times in my different daily notes. So this is actually a pretty intelligent answer. Now let's try retrieving by tag again. Summarize in one sentence, hashtag LLM comparison.
Let's check the source. Again, relevant score one, model comparison demo. This is a test I did in one of my previous videos. You can see this hashtag down here. Copilot Plus can retrieve your tags located anywhere in your notes. This makes um, gathering information with hashtags super easy. Next question, have I renewed my passport? I have a very bad memory, but I log everything I do in the daily notes. So if I'm unsure whether I did something, just ask Copilot. Based on the content of your note, it appears that you have a task listed under to do, but it's marked as incomplete. Let's check. Oh yes, renew passport, it's unchecked. Good job. Copilot can also help me plan stuff. So I have this books note that lists all the books I read and I'm going to read. So the question is, given my current progress, what should be my pace if I'd like to finish all the books before the end of 2024? So first, it needs to know what's the date now and how many days are left in 2024 and how many books I have left and do some math. You can see this exactly that. It did a pretty good job. It says I need to read 0.7 books per week, which means three books every four weeks. Let's ask for a concrete plan to proceed. Awesome plan. It saves a lot of time for me personally to plan stuff. This demo is just a glimpse of what I'm going to ship. There are a lot more Copilot Plus can do. You can check out the website at obsidiancopilot.com and join the waitlist if you're interested. You'll get notified as soon as it's available. I just posted this one in the project discussion page on GitHub. Feel free to suggest features or upvote suggestions from others. Find the link in the description below. I'm Logan, an engineer and creator creating AI tools for the mind. If you like what I do, please give it a like and subscribe to never miss an update. And I'll see you in the next one.